Please tell me that you could hear me now. Please tell me that you could hear me now. <laughs> this has been driving me nuts. The last shot. Waiting for somebody to come in to confirm if I have sound. Do I have sound? Please tell me I have sound. Yes! This is the best thing ever. Uh -huh. Hold on, let me just put that I <laughs> figured my life out on here. Done. Okay. I I think I figured out the StreamYard thing or something. You sent me something. I figured out which mic was working through there. So success. Thank you, Britt, for coming through for me. Uh, I guess I was just going to put on some makeup and hang out with you guys, answer any questions, show you anything that you want to see while we're here. And then, yeah. Also, do you see any flickering in my lights? If you do, please let me know because I have like this um, box that charges everything and I think it's just doesn't have enough power um, to hold everything. Uh, yeah. Let me just put on some face. Let me clean my hands first for some alcohol. I really don't know what I'm doing today. There was just no rhyme or reason for any of this. I just said, let me take advantage of the time. So... We're here. I'm going to use my Too Faced Pump and Prime. You guys know that's my favorite if you've been watching my channel. And just going to get right in. Chit chat with you about what's new. Um, swatch anything that you want me to swatch. When we're going to get Unearthly Complex, it might be a while because um, the sales don't move that much in order for me to have that lot of inventory on hand. Um, but in time, I feel like as we grow and once we get a little bit bigger as a brand, we should be able to handle something like that. I'm going in with the NARS Radiant uh, Light Reflecting, Light Reflecting Foundation. This one is in Fiji. It's really just bored. I feel like there's been nothing to watch on TV. Uh, when it's this late, I don't usually pack orders. Well, the kids just went to sleep. So you have you guys have seen me pack orders at like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. But I'm fried because that's like what we do all day now. Uh, now that I don't have the day job. <clears throat> it's solely like focusing on... Um, making sure that orders are going out in a timely fashion and being on top of everything. I wish I knew how to put like links and stuff to this live. Let me see if I could get that. I don't want to be rude to you in any way. So let me see if I could share, copy link. Story. Okay, now I could put a link. I feel so like I am not advanced when it comes to these things. Let me delete the other one that clearly didn't have the link. Yes, it worked. I fixed it. Hey. Hi. <gasps> Always coming through. It's like a, a tradition or something on the videos. See you later. Best husband of the year. I'll be alive, oh, enjoy your life. Oh, 
coffee everywhere. Um, oh, okay. What do we got here? Maybe a neutral palette. Maybe. Maybe. I'm using my ABH uh, concealer. It's a little bit um, full coverage for this foundation, but I've been liking how it looks under my eyes. So, pull that out. Thank you. It's so old, that cup. It's from Sourpuss Clothing. But it is my favorite. I have, I think, one or two more of that collection. And I'm sad that I didn't get them all. I've had it for a while. Hold on. Let me look into this mirror. Hopefully I don't come out of frame at any point and, like, ruin this. I'm so happy that I got the sound working because I was starting to feel really defeated <laughs> about not knowing what I'm doing. It's like frustrating, like learning. It's a learning process, I guess. So I'm just kind of like patting this in. Then I'll take what's left and go over my eyelids. Oh, you guys like the full collections, huh? You know, I felt uh, after Holiday Spirit and In the Dark, I was kind of scared. I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit scared because a lot of people were upset that they... I know that everybody likes the option to purchase things individually. But as a small business, I have to kind of make that decision um financially if I can't swing both it has to be one or the other right now so you know I need to you guys need to tell me do you prefer a full box set collection or do you prefer the individual items that you could just purchase as a bundle um what am I gonna do now blend I feel like these lights always make me um, have like splotches because everything's like washed out and then when I turn off the light I'm like oh I look like that on mine <laughs> I'm sorry you guys have to see me in my natural element sometimes okay, I'm taking my Huda Beauty powder right now and I'm just gonna set under here really quick I don't like to bake but just enough to set What am I missing? What's your favorite unearthly product? Um, it changes all the time, but it depends. If you're asking me about packaging, if or like it just are you are you asking me specifically about palettes? Because I have my favorites for each category. Like if you said, "What's your favorite color of our?" Satin liquid lipsticks, I would be able to tell you. Or what's your favorite palette? I'll be able to tell you. Um, but right now I have a current favorite product. So hi, welcome guys. Thank you for coming to hang out with me because we were experiencing some hardcore technical difficulties. <laughs> what brushes are those? Uh, I don't even know. What was I using? Oh, this is the Wander Beauty. I was using the Wander Beauty dual ended one. And I don't know, something from BoxyCharm. Farah? A Sarah brush. Um, I'm excited to tell you guys that we have brushes that are coming soon and I will be putting up uh, pictures really soon. I'll be putting up pictures. We'll have prices. They will be available individually. It's so exciting. Um, so yeah, lots of new fun things to come. What is falling here? Uh, let me do a blush. Which blush should I, should I do? Do you guys have any special requests? For blush. I like individual items and options to get a bundle. Uh, see, everybody, see, a lot of people say individual items. I love the box sets personally, but, you know, if you guys prefer the individual items, that's the route that I'll take. You love the powder, our powder brush, this one, 
I love this one too. I use this for all over after I'm done putting everything else. I love our satin liquid lipsticks. If there's like packaging that I like one of our packaging that I'm the most proud of, aside from like artwork wise, um, is our satin liquid lipsticks and the formula I worked for it. It felt like a full year of trying to make everything perfect, which was really difficult. Mm. One of the new single blushes. Which color? Give me a color, any color. I have them all here in my drawer. <laughs> I have ethereal highlight here. I'm sticking my hand in the back to see what I can get. Mellow. I just used this the other day. I love that color. Mellow and hazy are my two favorite favorite colors. Um, what else we got? Oh, look at the goddess highlight. I'm a mess, so everything's like shoved into this drawer. Punch, oh my god. Bright, bright colors. <laughs> orange, okay. You guys always want me to do, you love orange, guys. Should I do shy or tangy? So this this is on camera. It is not coming up as orange, but it's like coral in, in real life. So I'll do one of those. Let me put these back. Let me see if I play around with the goddess highlight while I have it there. Tangy. Okay, everybody wants tangy. Let me take it out. <laughs> Match my shirt, my hobo. My kids are always like, mom, your shirt's broken. I'm like, I bought it like that. <laughs> Love to embarrass me. Okay, I'm going in. Wait, let me see if I have my, my unearthly brushes are clean. No, my angled brush. Is it clean? Okay, I'll do that. I need to wash my brushes so bad. Okay, um, going in with the A2 brush, it's got like this nice little cup to cup your cheek. Um, and I'm going in with Tangy. She's pigmented, like look at that. So I'm gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand and then I'm just gonna start stamping it a little bit up here and then slowly bringing it down. Okay, how do we ship orders? This is a great question, and I know tons of people have questions about it. Before, we used to ship orders in batches, so all orders that, that had single items were grouped into one. All orders that had two items were grouped together. And then the bigger the order gets, I like to, I was saving them at the end so that I could really focus my attention on making sure that the order is correct. Before we also didn't have packing slips, which was a hot mess, let me tell you, because I had to manually take a marker and write down on the back of each label what was supposed to be inside of that, what was supposed to be inside of that order. And it was a just, it was just a hot mess. So now we have packing slips. I usually pack them just in the batch as I go. We aren't really grouping them anymore. Aside from like pre-order items, Fall Magic, all the singles will be grouped together. And then my husband will sit down and work on the singles. And then I sit there and I work on the rest of them. So that is how we do it. And although your label has been printed, it actually acts as your packing slip for us. Because you're late, there is a, a separate packing slip that does go inside. And then on the label, there's a little list of what's included inside of your order. And before, that's all we used to go off of. But on the really big orders that said, et cetera, I had to manually go in and research as I was fulfilling each order or write it down on the back. And then the global orders no longer show that for me anymore. So I had to go ahead and do that. It was a hot mess. It was it was bad. But it's better now. So um, just taking what's left over here. So this is Tangy. I love this color. And I love the brighter blushes because all, almost all skin tones could wear them, depending on how you apply them. Uh, how about a blush palette? I mean, we have the blush singles. They're magnetic. We have a magnetic palette coming out at the end of this month or early May. So I could show you that if you want. Mine's a mess. 
Mine's like gross. It's like really gross. I don't have any blushes in mine right now, but this is the magnetic palette. She's so cute. And then the top looks like this. I can't show you what's inside of this one in particular, but let me see if I could show you the other one. I have two. Okay, some of these are not magnetic, so they're going to fall out. I just use it as like a house. This one's going to fall out too. Okay, so this is the magnetic palette. Um, and it holds nine of our blushes or highlights, the magnetic pans. Let me see what I'm missing. What is the next release? The next release, we've been sneak peeking it. We do have the new version of the um, Don't Be Jelly right here. So th what's exciting about this version is it is magnetic. The pants are square. It is weightier. There's a new formula on our shimmers. So that's super exciting. I wish I could, my camera is like, I feel like it's a little bit dull. Like on my viewfinder, it looks great, but through the streaming thing, I feel like it's degrading the quality a little bit. Yay! I love, like, I don't think you guys realize how many times a day I go and I search Unearthly Cosmetics on YouTube just so that I could watch you guys because it makes, my husband gets so excited too. It makes us feel so nice. Ready for more. loving the orange blush. Um, what am I doing now? Contour. I'm just going to go in with this smaller, like, Spectrum brush into my KVD uh, Shadow Play. And I'm just going to run a little bit. Nothing crazy. This is like a blush moment. You know? Sorry, I got carried away with the talking and less makeup in. What did I miss? Secrets. <laughs> yes. We have secrets over here. Some. I, I'm not going anywhere. It's legit. 10 43 p.m and oh my god what did i just do that's what i get for using the uh computer as my mirror instead of my actual mirror uh um Britt told me to use stream yard because obs wasn't working for me today i think it's because i got like a new attachment so the stream is like a steady stream instead of being so jumpy hi guys Is it a ranking? Is it a ranking, Heather? <laughs> Yay, molten chromes. Yeah, we just finished out uh, a lot of that batch. I have another batch right here that we're working on all day tomorrow. And that should be, it depends on, I could probably schedule a pickup in the middle of doing it. I have my mail lady's phone number that I could just text her, so. I could do that and she could pick up whatever's already done and then the rest should be going out on Friday. Let me take a sip of the coffee husband. Mm -hmm. Not normal is a palette I actually made for myself because at the time I was doing a little bit of traveling and I just wanted to take one palette, one that had all my darker shades, like my neutrals. I had my greens because that's my go-to. You guys know I love green. I get actually a couple complaints about the fact that almost all of our palettes have green inside and um, purples. So you get those nice burgundies, the rich plum. I don't, I love that palette. Wait, is there a new season of Outlander? Are you, are you watching the older ones? Because if there's a new season, I'm about to dip out too. Bye, Heather. Thank you for hanging out with me for a little while. The coolest colors. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Um, I could also swatch anything that you guys want to see. Um, while I'm here, I could always take a step or I could use any palette that you guys ask me to use. While I am here. 
Take advantage of me. Ask me all the questions. Green is the best. Green is the best color. I'm obsessed with this new urban. This it's new to me. I purchased it, brand new. But um, this eyebrow thing. What is it? Brow blade. My new favorite thing. It's so easy for me to just fill in the sparse areas, but keep my dark brows natural. Can you search the, by the way, I saw somebody ask, the blushes are available now. The blushes and the highlighter pans are available on our website right now. Um, can you search Don't Be Jelly? Do you mean on our website? Don't Be Jelly will be launching for pre-order this Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. MC1 and MC6 will be restocked. Um, we're working on getting this batch out and then... Uh, I have to do another inventory count as soon as that's all out. And then I will place the order. And of course, this time, make sure that the number stickers are at the bottom of the, that was a manufacturing error um, on their part, not on mine. It was a manufacturing error. So on the bottom of the molten chromes, there are no numbers, but what I've done is just pull them off the box and stick them on the bottom for now. <clears throat> it is a pain in the ass and I'm sorry you have to endure that. I need some lip balm. I'm going to put on this Givenchy crap I just bought. 110. In the meantime. Okay, I'm going to put on some highlight. Oh, swatch. Yeah, I could swatch it. I will definitely swatch that for you. I need a brush for this. <sighs> I'm trying to read everything at the same time. You want me to swatch Don't Be Jelly? I could definitely do that. No, I did not buy the Rare Beauty um, blotting sheets. I did purchase the um, that new tinted moisturizer stuff. You know what? I thought I really liked it. And then I started to realize as the day went on that I don't think it's for me. I, I really don't think it's for me. I might have to say that that one is a dud. Um, what's the next theme? Do you mean for palettes? Is that what you're asking me? Hold on. Okay, I'm going to swatch. I'm going to swatch. Can I blend out my highlight, please? <laughs> please, please, please let me blend out my highlight. I can't tell you what it is. Okay. Oh, my God. Do you hear my husband jamming out in the garage doing his live? He's on TikTok. He's writing your names in graffiti style. If anybody wants to go follow my husband, please do it. He's the style mechanic on TikTok. Uh, okay, so we have, don't be jelly. Okay, hi, I need to go to bed, but wanted to ask Unearthly, could some someday make a bright, bold red metallic that don't orange up an olive with yellow on the rear dream color? I will consider that reds are really difficult because sometimes they either lean more orange or they turn pink. So it's a struggle. It is really a struggle. Let me go ahead and make sure I'm not really, I'm like using this as my mirror, but it probably looks a hot mess in real life. Anyways, so we have Don't Be Jelly. We have DBJ1, which to you looks blue, but to me looks purple. And I'm not sure, maybe if I switch off one of my lights, maybe if I turn off these guys right here, because they're like struggling right now. I feel like they're flickering at me. Maybe that'll do it. No. No. I need a, a multi-chrome expert to... <laughs> I 
Maybe if I shut off one of my bigger lights at the top. Don't look at my butt, okay? Don't look at my butt. <laughs> Imagine if I ate shit on the internet like that. That's funny. Okay. Maybe this will help. Lighting on one side. No, it's not working. It's not working. Anyways, this is DBJ one. Don't be jelly one. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna use my hand because I have like a tattoo and scars on my hand. So I'm just gonna put that there for you. It's really not even capturing how that looks so purple in real life. <laughs> so that's DBJ one. Come on, camera. Very pretty. We have DBJ two. Get a smaller handheld light. You know, I need to take lessons from you. Okay, this is DBJ two. This one is beautiful as a highlight as well. It is a pink and it flips like a golden green. Okay, I'm going to use my pants because I have no shame in my game. Um, next, we're going into DBJ3, which is like green, but it shifts purple. Um, it's like a purple shift, so that's it here. Is this palette going to be permanent? Um, it cost me a lot to manufacture this palette, so it just depends on the demand for it. If you guys want to keep it, if you guys want me to keep bringing it back, then I most definitely will. If I could get the purples. See that? Okay, I'm using my Ricky mirror, but down here. Maybe you guys could see the shifts like that. Um, she is an ex. Look at she's an expert. Okay, DBJ four. This one's like a fan favorite for forever. It turns. It's like another one that shifts like a purple blue and like a teal. This one's more of like a topper. It's translucent. It doesn't have a black base, but it does transform on. I have like a fucking fly in here. Get out of here. Got him. Anyways, um, yeah, so it does transform on top of other colors. It even looks beautiful on top of some of the other multichromes. So there's that. I have DBJ5. This one shifts. It's like a green, like a red um, antique, like an antique gold type of color. Well, and it looks purple to you, so this is red. I don't know if you guys could see that shift. Can you see that? Okay. It shifts like the color of my shirt. And then it turns like this really pretty plum color. In the pan, it does look like a rust red. So this is like a, the antique copper kind of color it shifts red and then it turns this beautiful plum purple okay now we have dbj6 which is another fan favorite from the original version it's just so wet looking oh love this color um let me stick it at the top here that's it at the top right here So it's like a blue with a purple sheen, like a reflect inside of it. I'm trying to describe it in the best way possible. Blue, teal, purple. I'm trying to see if I could get the shift, but it's not really, it's not capturing it on this one as much. Um, and then we have DBJ7. 
I have no more space on my hands. I'm going to have to go along my thumb right here. Um, this one shifts like a green. Let me see if you guys could see it. It's like a, a blue, blurple, purple. I'm seeing a slight green when you turn to the side. And that's it right there. I suck at the ship, but I'm trying my best. I swear that there's like a green. When I'm looking at it from this angle right here, it looks like an olive green. That's the best way to describe it. Uh, cotton candy vibes. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay, this one is DBJ8. This color is beautiful. It's like a, my fingers are a little bit stained because I don't have actual makeup remover wipes. But it is a purple with gold sparkles and pink. I'm going to have to, I'll go down here now. It's more of a topper shade. There is no black base. I love this. Wow, it's so crazy how it looks so purple. It looks like so lavender on the, on the camera, but... In person, it looks like uh, very pink. It is very pink in person. I'm not sure if I'll be able to capture that. Let's see. I'm a very hairy person too, by the way, so I'm sorry. <laughs> and then we have DBJ9. This one is a blurple with like a teal... It looks so vibrant there. Wow. Maybe I'll put this one on like a, my side here. In person, it looks purple and royal blue. And then in the viewfinder, it looks like a teal type of shade. It is beautiful. Let me see if I can get the color. No, I'm going to go off here because that was stupid. So that is Don't Be Jelly. And I'm so happy to have this palette back and better than ever. It is still small in comparison to some of our others. Let me show you, like, let me show you Lore. So this is Lore and then Don't Be Jelly. Um, the pans are a little bit bigger than they were originally. I put a comparison up on our story. Um, and the old circular pans fit into these circles. So you're getting a little bit more product and updated formula. Come on, camera. It's weird when you look at it in the pan. It looks so washed out there. So weird. Um, so yeah, this and they're magnetic, so they will come out. You could rearrange them and put them in any other palette that you have, which is something that we've been working on transitioning for almost all of our palettes with the exception of all I ever wanted that one will not be the markup would be too high it makes no sense for me to do that to you so I need to find something to clean my hands and I don't think I have anything let me see here makeup remover I just oh you did a premiere I'm so like out of my game lately. It's just been work, 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 work. Okay, what palette should I use on my eyes? We do have Fall Magic here. I have the newer palette. I have the newer palette, so maybe I could share that with you guys. And it'll be like a thank you for hanging out with me and actually paying attention to my <laughs> live. Look at this one color I forgot to remove. If you like All I Ever Wanted, stay tuned, and I will leave it at that. Uh, actually, I could go on and I could tell you. I don't remember the exact price off of the top of my head for Don't Be Jelly, but I think it was like $72, something like that. It was like $72. It's very expensive to make that because it's all like multi-chrome duochrome. And it's magnet. We're not going to change the um, price. I'm going to take a little bit of a hit. Even though it did cost more to make the palette magnetic, I'm not going to change the price on anybody. That would be jacked up. I'm kicking my camera. I'm sorry. 
I don't know what I'm going to use on my eyes today. What do you guys want me to use on my eyes today? You want me to use a new palette? My husband's jamming. Can you hear his music downstairs? Mm -mm. He's listening to like freestyle or something. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get in trouble with live, like YouTube or some shit because his music is playing <laughs> on the background. The new ones. Okay, you guys can't hear. Oh, so I'm just jamming out looking like an asshat by myself. Okay. All right. Um, I have the new palette. I don't think you're ready for it. I'm going to go ahead and show you a swatch first. I'll show you a swatch first. And you guys could guess what you think the theme of this palette is. Um, low light is not getting discontinued, but I have up until a certain time frame to get rid of all of my product that is branded as alien due to the trademark issue. So I got an extension because I had just manufactured a massive amount of satin, satin liquid lipsticks and we had just restocked poison apple. We did all of holiday. We just restocked low light and then I got hit with that bombshell. So I was able to get an extension lucky, luckily enough. Uh, but it's only till June, so we have a massive sale to try to get rid of everything. Some of them are not discontinued. Witching Hour Poison Apple is discontinued. Um, the Satin Liquid Lipstick Bundle, like in the Coffin Box set, will be discontinued. So if you want the Coffin Box set, definitely go pick that up now while you can. If not, I'm going to have to just donate a bunch of stuff, um, give it to friends and family. You know, I'm going to do my best, but... It would just be better if I could give them homes to people that will love them like you. So the new palette is not an all shimmer palette, no. The empty magnetic palette is going to come, depends on when the shipment arrives. I want it to be at the end of this month, but I have a feeling it'll be the first week of May. Okay, so I'm going to give you one swatch from the new palette. If I forgot to say something, please let me know because my thoughts are everywhere today. So this is one of the swatches that I posted on Instagram. Um, and I, it was super blurry because that's how you could capture all the uniqueness of the shade. So this is the shade right here. I know in the camera, it seems like it's incapable of picking up how beautiful this shade is. Um, in person, it is like a light yellow ivory gold with a pink a slight pink sheen and pink sparkles inside so i'm not sure if the camera is gonna pick that up i'm sorry i'm all sparkly from don't be jelly but this is the shade here we recently have been working on transitioning to our new shimmer formula so this is the newest formula for our shimmers and i'm so excited to share this with you Is low light too dark for very fair skin? Low light is the two bottom shades are definitely a no go for very fair skin. Um, but I find other ways to use them, and tons of other people do. I've been considering bringing back the palette after it's been rebranded in smaller size, like smaller pan sizes, because I know I love color highlight, but a lot of people don't. They don't use it every day, so I feel like. If we can knock down that cost for you guys um, by making it smaller, that would just be even better. So, let's see. A lot of people use Lola as eyeshadows. So, there you go. I'm going to do so. This palette, I'm going to reveal now that this palette has 12 shades, um, three of which are shimmers. So, there are nine mattes in this palette. It is matte heavy. And I created this palette at, like colors for the neutral lover. So my father actually gave me the inspiration for this palette. He said, AJ, that's what he calls me, AJ, you should do a palette inspired by leather and lace. And I said, dad, that is a fantastic idea. I had been working on this color story for a little while and it was the perfect concept to go with it. So we went ahead and created leather and lace. So, this is leather and lace. I know it does everything look flipped for you guys, but this is leather and lace. Here 
We have our ingredients printed on the back, our website information. We have our Leaping Bunny certification on the back. And then when you open the palette, there is a digital, like a glitched out um, lace pattern inside. So thank you. I love our mats too. <laughs> okay, so this shade is Chantilly, um, this shade here. Now I'm going to go into Vintage. This is one of our mats. This is Vintage. Let's see if I could get it to go. That is Vintage there. I'm not going to open it until I show you each row. <laughs> Um, and then the next shade is called Olive, which I guess you can imagine is what it sounds like. This is Olive. You need to see the palette. I will show you the palette when I'm done with the swatches. And then we have the shade Leather, which is our matte black. It's like a gray black. It's not a true, true, true. Oh wow, this looks like shit on hands. Why does black look like ass on hands? You see all the little cracks and crevices. <laughs> so this is, so we have Chantilly, Vintage, Olive, and Leather, which is like a really dark gray, almost black. Okay, we got that? You guys got that? Let me see. Okay. You know, I had to do green even though people complain about the green. Um, what else? Next we have, I don't even know how to say this and I am infamous for picking shade names that I do not know how to say. Um, but I think it's Point Disparate. Um, this shade is a gorgeous, gorgeous peach gold. And it has a reflect of gold, green, and like a copper. So this is the shade here. I'm not sure if it's capturing. Um, but it's like a beautiful peach tone. And this is it here. It has the most beautiful green sparkle inside of it, like a green gold. And then, hold on, let me take my little rag thing. There's sparkles everywhere. <laughs> I'm sorry if they interfere with the swatches. I did not have the intention of swatching this, but I get so excited sharing with you guys. Um, we have the shade Whiskey. This is like a, a coral brown shade. I love these. I just wore this row in particular the other day for Easter to go hang out at my dad's house. The next shade is, hold on, I can't read it. Redwood. Sorry, I don't have them all memorized yet. It's relatively new. So this is Redwood. This is more of like a rust brown. Camera is being stupid. You're right. I've been trying to get in touch with other influencers with deeper skin. Right now, the only person that I have is Chip. Um, so, and then Karen is more of like a medium undertones so I need to you're right I do need to find influencers that are of deeper skin tone and it's just been a struggle getting um contact back but I have been on the hunt I promise you <laughs> I promise you I have been okay the next shade is saddle and which is like a deeper cognac like a dark darker brown to deepen up your neutral 
So you could definitely go with this one and then these two, or you can make it richer and warmer with redwood. Oh, we def there's swatches of the highlighters on Chip's um, skin tone. So I could go ahead and share that again if you want on Instagram after this, after this video. I think they're on TikTok too. Okay. So you guys got that? Okay, next. Let me just clean this off. I'm gonna put the best of my ability. This makeup remover wipe wipe looks so gross. <laughs> it is rainbow at this point. When can we buy it? I'm going to give you guys all that information as soon as I'm done swatching, and then I'll show you the inside of the palette. Um, the next shade is called Applique. This one is a beautiful, like, purple, pink, mauve with a slight blue sheen. So let me go ahead and put it on there for you. Do you see that blue sheen on there? This release will not be limited. This one will be a permanent part of our collection. Wait, did I miss anything else? If you have beautiful dark skin girls that you want to share with me, please DM me. Or actually comment it because my DMs are flooded. So if you could comment it in our like most recent post or something like that, that would be fantastic. I appreciate that. Okay, next we're going to go into Venetian, which is a gorgeous mauve tone. Oh, on camera it's coming up plum, but I swear it's not. It is definitely like a mauve. Maybe the swatch will reflect that more. It's looking much cooler in my camera than it is in real life. In real life, it is much more of a mauve undertone. So this is Venetian. Then we have Mahogany. This is Mahogany. On camera, once again, it's definitely pulling up a little bit cooler on the live than it is in real life. It is definitely more of like a cranberry, much more cranberry berry tone in real life. Jamming out downstairs. Okay, and then the last one is aubergine. And this one is definitely the cooler undertone. I think you could see how much cooler that is. There. And that's it. Those are the 12 shades. I love that you could see the blue shift so pretty in this beautiful. Okay, now I could show you the palette. I'm cleaning everything off. Cleaning everything off. Yes, they would go really well together. You're so right. Not normal, and this would go really well together. I have not normal right here. Okay, let me show it to you now. So this is leather and lace. It has soft touch packaging we did this time, so it feels almost like suede. And then this is the packaging, the inside. And it's got like a digital, it's a lace print that's been glitched and digitalized. And the shade names are all in foil. Yes, I love this one. I think you guys are gonna love it too. This this shade up here though, Chantilly, 
hands down my favorite. I think it's so unique with the pink sparkles that are inside of it and you can't even really see it. You have to have it in person to really enjoy it, which is why I did like those blurry, those blurry videos <laughs> online. When, 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 okay, okay, hold on. Let me open up my emails. And I will tell you, because I just sent out the information to all of our affiliates. I don't know it all off the top of my head. Leather and Lace is launching 5-18-2022 at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to turn off this light underneath because I look like I'm doing like a ghost story or something. I will tell dad. I'm sure he's watching it. He watches all of the videos. So dad, they said thank you. I know you're probably not going to be able to see the comments later on when you rewatch this, but they love you for it. Thanks, dad. <laughs> it's under my mug. Crust. Thanks, dad. Okay, so maybe I'll do a look with it. I'll do a look with it while I'm here. Let me use my shade swap. Um... Our most of our, for the most part, most of our 12 color palettes are $40. So I'm trying to keep that. If there's no multi-chromes in it or, or like insane duochromes, the price wouldn't be anything. Yeah. Anything more than that for a 12 color palette. Let me just clean me brushes. Well, don't be jelly be available on the 18th. Let me look at my the email again, Deb. Did I provide that to you in the email? Um, don't be jelly will be opening up for pre-order 429. 429 at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'll go ahead and I'll make an announcement after this live too. Okay, my brushes are like really dirty, so don't judge me. Please don't judge me. I'm sorry. This is like a really long video. So if you've been hanging out with me, you're the shit. You're the shit. It's late. And you're awesome. What shade, Um, what color should I do? Should I do like the mauve? Should, should I do the neutral browns? Or should I do the greens? Or should I do like one and one? Restock on the gel chromes bundle. Yes, I'm going to be restocking the gel chromes soon. I promise. Yes, the pants are removable. Um, we switched um, moving forward. We are keeping the magnetic pants, but we got rid of that like little keyhole because I just didn't like the way it looked aesthetically. You can pop these out with like a little magnet or something. Green and brown. Okay, so I'm going to go with the greens first. You know it's my favorite. I don't have any primer. I don't have any primer. And remind me to do one in one because I have the bad habit of doing the steps at the same time. So. I'm a bad YouTuber. Um, I'm going to go in with Vintage, which is the lightest green in the palette. It's like a mossy green. And I'm just going to lightly place that in the crease. I don't work darkest to lightest like, you know, all the youngins do now. That's like a thing. I'm old school. I start light and I get deeper. <laughs> I am not that talented once upon a time, I was uh, a lot more creative, but not these days. So I'm just building that color up to be what I want it to be. And then I'm going to go in with, I should do a palette bingo. Great idea. I'm going to go in with olive, which is the, I'm just going to go across and build it up using all the colors. And I'm just going to make this a little bit deeper. A lot of you guys know that our mattes are very pigmented. So I legit just tap one, two, three. I think I do one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. And then build up that color. Um. What did I miss? <laughs> Leather and Lace. Okay, one more time. Let's go over this. Leather and Lace is releasing 
May 18th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't Be Jelly will be releasing for pre-order April 29th, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, cool. So I built that up, right? I built that up. I've got lots of depth. That's only two colors. So I did, um, I did vintage, then olive, and then I'm gonna go deeper with. Hold on. Let me clean this brush. This is the brush I really want. I'm using my little like old color switch thingy. Um, then I'm going to go in with leather, which is the black, right? It's the black. And I'm tapping. And I'm taking this on my brush and just building up that outer and then slowly bringing it in. Really getting that depth. I'm gonna take a little bit of olive on that same brush and just pat it, pat it right here. Thank you for hanging with me and thinking that my live is chill. It's just, I don't know what I'm doing. So <laughs> I'm just naturally not an uptight person. <laughs> yeah, you could totally get really grungy looks with this. So I'm gonna go back. Let me go clean this brush again. I'm using the color switch again. And I'm gonna go back in with Vintage and just do the outer edge one more time. Really get that grungy realness. So this is the only way I know how to do makeup. I am a gr I do grungy, blown out, smoky eyes. You could definitely, most definitely do neutral looks with it. It's just, I don't know how, I don't, I don't, I'm not about that life. <laughs> Um, I started our business, we started the business in 2017 and we were alien lashes at the time. So we only sold lashes. And our first palette was 2019 and it was our Pluto palette, which I just found recently downstairs. And I'd be happy to go through and show you guys that. Yes, I'm so happy the sound got fixed too. I'm going to go in with Chantilly, which is the the shade up here, it's like that light golden yellowy. Ooh, let me go ahead and mute that. That's rude. Rude. Um, that has the, the pink reflex in it. Just picking that up, tapping off the excess. Remember, I have no primer or, or anything on my eyes, so. I love this color for inner corner too. I need a mirror because I'm doing everything. It's so sparkly. Let me see. <laughs> Debbie, you were there for the first palette. Uh, come on, camera, pick it up. And then I'm going to take it on my finger and just apply a little bit more. There we go. So that is eyeball number one. I think I'm going to go in, actually, let me go in with olive and just do like a blown out under eye thing here. I'm taking that brush that I put the black on originally. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that gray black and call it a day. Cookies? You're making cookies? What kind of cookies? I've been trying to be good. I'm not like a big, I haven't been snacking. Trying to live a healthier lifestyle. But cookies sound amazing right now.
Please take us to Pluto. <laughs> so funny. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the other tones. I think I will do the browns, right? That's what we said. We're doing browns. Okay, I'm gonna take the shade Whiskey. I'm gonna work my way up and build up color. I actually did this row the other day with this shimmer. So pretty. Just trying to diffuse that, make that like my transition. Beautiful, neutral. What did I put on here? Okay, that's just that one color, right? Now I'm gonna go into Redwood, which is more of the rusty brown that's in the middle there. And I'm kind of putting that at the end of my lid. Then I'm gonna bring up the rest forward. Oh, <laughs> oh the ding to my phone. This is so funny. Okay, so we're building up that color. This is the shade Redwood so far. So you see how it was really neutral before and I'm just incapable of leaving it like that and I made it into this like grungy thing. <laughs> Then we're taking Saddle, which is the darker brown. It's more of a cool tone brown in comparison to Redwood. And I'm just going to pat that at the outer edge and really build up the intensity. And I'm gonna take what's left and just diffuse. So I gave, you see, I gave myself a little bit of a wing up here. Um, now I'm going to go into Point to Spirit, which was that like peach that has the green sheen. And these pop so good if you use like a glitter glue or whatever. I'll go back in with the other brush. I like the other brush better. I like like fluffier packing brushes for our shimmers. There you go. Neutral eye look. Yes, they do have like a peachy slash salmon undertone. They are definitely a little bit different considering they're browns. Um, I guess in the bottom, what I'll try to do is use the purple on this eye. Don't leave me. <laughs> Good night. I know people have like lives and shit that I don't have anymore. Um, okay, I'm going to go into Venetian, which is like the mauve one. And then I am going to put that on the lower lash line. I don't know if you guys could see that clearly. It there then I'm gonna build it up with mahogany which is more of a berry tone and it just makes it so much more vibrant um so no the brushes will always be permanent it's just the the sale the ones that are on sale just have our older the older logo it says alien and it no longer has this uh, planet. 
Um, then I'm going to take aubergine, which is the cooler tone, dark purple. And I'm going to put that on the outer. There. And we have our new brushes coming soon. I used one of them. Let's see. Can you see it? I'm excited for that. Our deadline is, uh, we have to have everything gone. Come on, camera. We have to have everything gone by June, so. I'm sorry if I look really depressed when we talk about it. <laughs> Gigi and Danny, once they're gone, they're gone. The sleepover pa uh, collection. I think the palette will be permanent, and I'm considering keeping the lip gloss, but the blushes will not be permanent. That is limited edition. I'm just going to go in with the clean brush and diffuse my under eye here. And then I'm going into applique, which is the purple with like the blue sheen to it. On this like little dense packing thing. And I'm going to put it on the inner portion right here. I want to try to use all the colors for you. I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, if you guys could see that. I know it's like such a small portion of the eye. But yeah, there's the looks. Oh my God, I think my battery is going low on my computer. I'm gonna go into the Don't Be Jelly, just for funsies. Um, I might keep the sleepover highlight, the bow and arrow highlighter from sleepover collection. I might keep it. Okay, I'm going to go into DBJ2. Very pigmented. And I'm just going to put that on the inner corner. I don't know if my camera is picking it up. But yeah. Ah, oh, you're welcome. I did my best. I'm sorry. It is 11.33 p.m. where I live, so. Oh, you oh, you compare the new blushes with the sleepover? I feel like the finishes are a little bit different, and in sleepover, it's definitely more cool, like, in comparison to mellow. And then um, Charmed has more of a sheen than Hazy does. It definitely has more of like a satiny look. Are the blushes in the, um, I think they are the same size. Let me pull one for you and I can show you. Give me one second, bear with me, I'm trying to get. So this is the blush single, right? And then this is the one from Charmed. But this is not magnetic, so you will have to tear your shit apart. But they are the same. Hope I helped. <laughs> Any other questions you guys have for me while I'm here? You got to see sneak peek of this. You got to see a brush. You got to see swatches of Don't Be Jelly and um, Leather and Lace, as well as Eye Looks with Leather and Lace. So that's exciting. Don't know. Let me just. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Hi, Karen. We just um, did swatches of leather and lace, and I did an eye look using that. And then we did swatches earlier of the Don't Be Jelly, which I guess you guys could watch back the video and see all of that exciting stuff. Um, I also, just to add, I don't see any 
fallout. There was no fallout from the mats, so that's always good. Do you guys have any other questions for me while you have me here? I'm trying to take advantage. Kids are behaving. Kids are in bed. Life is quiet. Husband's doing his TikTok live thing downstairs. He made me a coffee because I have issues and I stay up till four o'clock in the morning and wake up at 645. Get kids ready, drop them off at school, then come home and start packing. And then I take a crazy weird afternoon nap. So <laughs> will you have more pre-orders of Don't Be Jelly? Um, it depends on how this one sells. If Don't Be Jelly, this pre-order sells out, then I will open up another pre-order if you want. I'm so glad that you like the green. These are my favorite types of greens. So, packing lives coming up. Yeah, if you guys want to see that, I could definitely do some, like, I don't know if you guys prefer YouTube live, TikTok live, Instagram live. What is the TikTok live name again? Our TikTok is just Unearthly Cosmetics. You like IG. A lot of people like IG live. Our TikTok is kind of dead. I'm, I'm trying to like grow that. So if you can, please give us a follow on TikTok if you have it. Um, that would be a great way to support. Oh, my husband's. My husband's TikTok live is, let me see if I put it here so you could search him. He's a grumpy New Yorker. So if you choose to go in there, he will write your name and his graffiti shit that he does and have fun with the TikTok. <laughs> Let me see. Let me check my newsletter and see if there's anything else that I need to go over with you guys. Mm. Oh, the magnetic palettes will be launching. Our magnetic palettes will be launching on May 2nd. And I'll put up all the details. I'll put up all the details on our Instagram. Let me see this one. Oh, no, this is the one I can't show you, the inside. I can show you the top, though. <laughs> so it's got our logo. It's, like, holographic. Very fun. The art for this one is Ink Stashi. She's the one who did um, the Hauntingly Glamorous. She also made the box... Um, the woman on the boxes, the green boxes for our satin liquid lipstick. She's incredibly talented, and I'm so excited to do more projects with her. So keep an eye out for that. All of our artists are different. Um, oh, she did sleepover. She also did sleepover. Um, if you want to know about the other artists, um, Lore Palette was Graveyard Vomit. Definitely give him a follow. Uh, not normal. Not normal palette is Nikki Lee is me. If you have the bunnies palette, that is Miss Too Pacey along with Low Light. So definitely check out those artists. I've been wanting to reach out to them and see if we do like mini blogs about them. Some people are talking, saying that I should do prints from the artists on our on our store, but I don't feel like I should be taking away that business from the artists. They still own the rights to their artwork. Um, although we do commission them for certain pieces we don't take the rights away from the artist so they could earn money off of that artwork so that is theirs we're not going to take that we use it for the product if you're looking for the artwork definitely go ahead and check out their pages um if you have fairy frolic that artist is meggles so definitely get check them out i'm trying to see if there's one that's missing i did the in the dark artwork by myself fall magic was me um witching hour was me don't be jelly was me and so was leather and lace um, oh, you're checking out his, his thing? We need a graffiti palette. You know, he was supposed to come out with the palette last summer, and for some reason, we couldn't get the colors on the file to work correctly. So that color story has just been sitting there for so long, um, and there was no way to salvage that artwork, and I just didn't know what to do, so we kind of like abandoned ship on that, which is really sad, but he is so incredibly talented much more than his graffiti stuff. Like he does amazing characters. Let me go ahead and put this other light back on so I could see you. 
Oh, that's so much better. Um, let's see. Let me read all the stuff that I miss. New things interesting to learn about the goings on in the company. Yeah, you'll be coming with any bullet matte lipsticks. At this time, I don't foresee any bullet matte lipsticks. Um, we're not well known for our lipsticks, and I really love our satin liquid lipsticks. Um, but they just don't move as well as I had hoped. Um, it's just, it hasn't caught on yet. You know, we're, we're more known for our palettes and I understand. So I'm just fearful to be sitting on inventory at this point. And I'm hoping that as we grow, I'll be able to have more of those opportunities, um, with those types of products. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. Is it some, is it stressful sometimes coming up with concepts? No, I'm kind of crazy and they just come to me. I could just be laying on the couch and I'm like, I need to do this. And I whip out a color story or there's other times that I have a concept in my mind and I need to see the artwork. And then I come up with the color story. I have a vague idea of the color story, but it doesn't really come to life until I have the commission, the artwork. Um, Hubby collaboration <laughs> I hope you make a periwinkle shadow one day if you haven't already. Maybe. How much are the individual metallic multi-chrome gels? The molten chromes are 15. And we did we do have bundles. So if you go onto our website, you could get um, the molten chrome gels, shades one through six as a bundle, which is currently sold out, but we will be restocking soon. And then there's shades seven through twelve, which are the gel chrome flakes, um, which I think is still available at this time. What else do we have here? I want to try to answer as many questions as I can. I know it's getting late. I think I'm pretty much caught up. Is there anything else? If not, um, I'm probably going to clean my whole face, tuck myself in, <laughs> or check on husband, check on the dog downstairs, and then... Oh, how long does it usually take for you to go from palette idea to release? It depends on the project. Our blushes we've been working, we worked on for a very long time and they went through many phases of production. They started off and we had, uh, let me see if I have one here. Where is it? Okay, so we started off with wanting to do plastic compacts and Oh, shit. Is it broken in there? Oh, shit. My blush broke in there. Anyways, they started off with plastic compacts. You see it, it does still say alien. These are just a, a, an example print, but they were supposed to be dipped and marbleized. Um, and then that they are magnetic, too. But then I couldn't justify the cost, and it just didn't make sense to mark up a product so high. So then we did a cardboard compact, and I was just like... <sighs> This doesn't make sense either because each color should have its own artwork and I had commissioned an artist to do just one. So I was just like, wouldn't it be, so everybody's been telling me to do singles of things instead of just doing palettes because it's so much more personal that way. You could purchase just the shades that you like. Um, so I decided on the pans and I really love how the packaging came out for our envelopes. Everything, all the ingredients and everything are here. Leaping Bunny certification, the shelf life, it's also it's also on the inside. Um, and then on the back of the shades, you don't need to worry about a sticker. It's actually like printed on there. So it's the small details that I was really excited to get right for these. Hold on, let me plug in my laptop before it dies on you guys. Oh. Do we have an outlet available over here? Oh. Okay. 
So the lack of colors for the molten chromes was a mistake. That was a mistake by the supplier. Yes. <laughs> Not the, the, um, the like names on the inside, but we did choose the names to be just MC one for molten chrome one. The palettes being discontinued are witching hour and poison apple. As of right now, holiday spirit is being discontinued. Satin liquid lipstick bundle in the coffin set is being discontinued. Uh, it depends on the project in regards to paying the artist. Sometimes it's a flat rate fee. In the past, we have done like royalties. Mm. Good night. Thank you for hanging out with me. What did I miss? Oh, how long I was going on and on about how long it takes. So it just depends on the the project, um, how it changes through time, or sometimes you get a big mess up where everything looks perfect. You get the final version; it's already been produced. You opened it up. You open it up, and something is wrong with the formula. And that has happened to me, and it's definitely set back some launches. So, um. It could take up to a year and sometimes it could be a little bit under a year or sometimes it could be way more. <laughs> so it just varies on the project. Oh, are you just coming in? Um, what's on my eyes are the, is the new leather and lace. We revealed the new palette that's coming out. Leather and lace. And this is it here. It's like the longest live ever. Do we sell singles? We see we sell single blushes um, at this time. Single blushes and highlights we have. Um, what else? What else? What else? I think that's it. Let me go into my newsletter again and see if I can. There are some other things that I'm not going to discuss just yet, but I think that's it for now. I gave you the leather and lace launch date, magnetic palette launch date, don't be jelly, pre-order date. Really? There's longer lives than this? I just suck at this, guys, but... I appreciate the 45 people <laughs> that have been hanging out with me. Oh, you got your name done. Woo! -hoo! Go husband. No worries. I'm, I love the questions because I'm not naturally a very... I, I'm an introvert. So it's really hard for me to do things like this. It, I'm very uncomfortable. If I met you in real life, I'd probably shrivel up and die into the floor. I do not like... I have the worst social anxiety. So doing this and having you interact with me makes this experience so much more special and it helps me get through it, which is why kind of why I struggle, I think, with regular YouTube videos. And I really wanted to figure out how to do this live thing. So what did I see? Six hour lives. Damn, damn. Get it, girl. She's doing her thing over there. Does it look good? Does leather and lace look good? Does my skin look okay? I've been getting like this weird like texture situation going going on on my face. I was sent some skincare products and I've been having an adverse reaction whenever I use it. I feel awkward in person. I'm telling you, it's like for years when I was younger, um, for years, I couldn't order anything for myself. My mom, when I was a teenager, would have to order everything. I wouldn't go to the restaurant and speak. <laughs> it is horrible. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, I also have to film a video with story time on leaving work. And why I had done so. So that'll become, maybe I'll do a live for that next time and we could just shoot the breeze again. 
And I think that's it. Thank you guys uh, for hanging out with me. So this was Tangy, Tangy on the Cheeks, secret sauce over here that I'm not telling you about yet. And then we have the leather and lace here, leather and lace. And then I put a little bit of DBJ2 from the Don't Be Jelly palette. I never put on a lip though. So maybe I should, maybe I should do that now. Use one of the satin little bits. Oh my god. Which one am I going to use? Oh, well, Diana is my mom's color. It's not Pam, Mandy. Where's Kalina? Is Kalina? Yeah, Kalina. If you guys have our satin liquid lipsticks, can you tell me what your favorite color is? Because I think we're going to be discontinuing some of the shades for the next go around. Good night. Thank you for hanging out with me. This is Kalina. This is named after my sister-in-law, my husband's sister. Diana is named after my mom. So I love that one. Mandy is my nickname. So that nobody wanted to claim the poopy green color. So I was like, that's all me. I got to take it. Take one for the team. Even though I love it. So it wasn't really like I took one for the team. But I really, nobody wanted that color. You wanted, I, I want to know what you did for a living. I was a customer service manager, like a tier two agent for a cosmetics company. Samantha, Angela, and Minerva. Samantha's my aunt. Angela's my cousin, and Minerva's my grandmother. Oh, Jeanette's such a good color, too. That's my cousin's name. I'm not trying to run out of here. I have nothing else better to do. It's the middle of the night, and I just had a coffee. <laughs> if you guys want me to stay here for a long time, I can. Yeah, Mandy is such, I feel like it's one of the most flattering green tones that you could wear on your lips. And it was actually a happy accident. It was, I asked the lab to create a specific color and then I got that and I said, this is not what I asked for, but it was happy magic. So I decided to keep it. Would love to watch or have more content for the story behind stuff. Keep all except the bright pink. Damn, my aunt is going to be so sad about that because that is her signature color. <laughs> she loves hot pink. It's Linda is my aunt. It's my mom's sister. <laughs> See, I, people are going to get mad. That pink is, that is a nice pink, especially if you put it with a like a deep red lip liner. Chef's kiss. So good. I have a, you know, what's weird is like, I'm light, I'm light medium skin tone, but I am very green. I'm very olive undertone. And a lot of people that are olive are scared to do things that are purple. I, I will tell you this much though. I cannot wear pink lipstick. Light pink lipstick looks like absolute trash on my skin tone. Um, but I love mauves, plums. I love all the colors. Oranges are my favorite if I'm going to do a bright color, it is going to be a tangerine. So Gladys is named after my grandmother that passed away. And that one has like my heart. Um, so, yeah. You would be surprised how many compliments you get with interesting lip shades. No, it's so true. Oh, maybe I will name something Freya. Don't come for me after though. <laughs> I'm Olive Understone. Yeah, I cannot do pink lips. And let me tell you this story. When I was younger and I was first, I was really, I was heavily into makeup as a teenager. It started off young. I dressed very weird. Back then it was weird. I distinctly remember a kid telling me in middle school that I would be really pretty if I just dressed normal. Um, 
And in the neighborhood that I lived in, which was Jamaica, Queens, uh, frequently they would chase me. The kids from the high school would chase me and call me Satan because of how, because of how I was dressing. Um, but yeah, anyways, I used to wear really dark eyeliner. I didn't really wear any base makeup at the time. And I wore dark eyeliner and I used to take these wet and wild, I think it was wet and wild, like loose shimmers. They were like uh, a purple one and I would put it all over my cheeks as colored highlight back then it didn't really exist. So I would put this pigment all over my cheeks as highlight and that was like my look. And then I had another one that was by a brand called Jessie's Girl, which I don't even know if they have that anymore, but it was a loose pigment and it was a white that shifted green. And I would put that as my highlight as well. Um, let me see. What did I miss here? Hi. I can't tell you what that highlight was. I'm sorry. Um, sorry, I got sucked into like reading everything. <laughs> uh, anyways, so that's where my love affair for color sparkly shit happened. Um, anyways, that was, it's always been about being weird and not fitting in. And I had a deep love for putting eyeshadow as colored highlight at like 13 to 15. Are there any other like weird things that you guys used to do? Or oh, using eyeliner as lip liner? People do that all the time now. But back then it was like really weird. Um, It was really weird to do that. My first foundation was like bare minerals or some shit. Remember that tap, buff and tap? It was like you put it in, you swirl, tap, and then you put on your makeup. Did anybody, was that anybody else's first makeup? <laughs> like base? Oh, Angelica's fantastic. She's got a lot on her plate. Maybe someday it'll happen. Yeah, I mean, it's, I always love, <laughs> I always loved color. I always loved color. So I remember going into Sephora back then. One of my favorite brands, my mom's favorite brand at the time too, that's no longer around. Well, it was Urban Decay for me back then and Tony and Tina. Does anybody remember Tony and Tina? My mom loved this lip gloss that was like goddess. It was called goddess or something like that. Or it was a goddess name. And it was the most beautiful nude. The smell of it was like herbal. It was absolutely fantastic. And I'm so sad that that brand is no longer around. They used to do colorful pressed pig, like loose pigments. I felt like it was so new and innovative. And if that brand was still here today, I could guarantee you that they would be like a huge success, a huge success. That was my favorite brand and my mom's die heart. She bought like five of them when she found out that they were going out. That was her favorite lip gloss. I'll never forget it. You had the Maybelline knockoff version of that foundation, 220. Oh, BH, I had that 120 palette, my BH 120 color palette. Oh, I did so much with that. You can, that was the shit back then. That really was the shit. I'll never forget that. You were uberly poor. It's, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you experienced that. You know, I can't say that I was, I mean, I, my mom raised me. My dad, my parents weren't together, so, but she did a lot of it on her own, and I was lucky enough that she completely embraced everything that, that I was, and if she said, you, if this is your style and this is what you like, she enabled it even, you know, she took me to Hot Topic, she bought me all the shit with chains and the big, uh, what was it, were UFOs, the pants, they were like, I look like the fucking Pink Panther, I'm not, they were like pink UFO pants. Huge wide legs. We'll never forget it. <laughs> Coastal Sense. You know what's so funny? Coastal Sense was big at the time 
But I, at that time, I wasn't a big internet shopper. It was more of being in person, and that's completely changed now. But all the videos were about coastal scents. Oh, kicks with my face. Yeah, it was all about, man, I miss the simpler times. My mom used to call me a weirdo. <laughs> no, she definitely, like, at first, it was just, like, you sure that you want to wear blue nail polish? Like, she was like, oh. Like, you could tell she wanted me to get that baby pink. But she totally embraced it. She's like, all right, I'll get it. I'll get it for you if that's what you want. She encouraged my art because my art, that's what I wanted to be growing up. I wanted to be an artist and um, a painter. And... Both of my parents always encouraged me. Or I remember distinctly my father taking me to Pearl Paints, which in Chinatown in New York City, um, that no longer is there. And he's like, do you like this in the window? And it was an easel. Oh, my God, it was gorgeous. And I said, yes. And then he just told the chick to come over. I'm going to take that. Will you buy that for her? And I was just like, oh. my mouth was hanging to the floor. And I was so like, I couldn't believe I could. It was it, it seemed like it was such an impulsive thing to do. And it's not like I was, like, it was definitely a highlight in my life. Uh, one of the most special times was my dad, for sure. <laughs> I remember the plastic kid side suitcases with crayons for <laughs> makeup. Oh, kid makeup was horrible, wasn't it? Even looking back, I kept a lot of things uh, for a long time that I was hoarding just for sentimental value and so bad. Some of it, some of it was so bad. Uh, the restock of the molten chrome gels will not be ready in time for the leather and lace re um, release. No, they will not be ready. Any other questions for me, guys? Sorry, I'm divulging, and it's, I feel like I'm doing therapy with you guys, talking about my life growing up. Ooh, it finally like focused on my my eyes. Oh, I'll tell you this much: my dad does not like piercings, so I was allowed to change my hair any kind of color. It's funny because my mom and dad were different. My mom didn't like that I changed my hair. My dad didn't mind the hair changing, but hated the piercings, which I had a septum ring and he called me a bull for forever, but I know he was just busting my balls. Um, but yeah, not a fan. I even had a, I had like a Monroe a septum. I think that was it for the face. My mom let me get a belly ring when I was like 13. I went with my aunt. What's a palette you like now outside of your brand? Um, what's a palette that I like right now outside of my brand? You know, in terms of color story, I haven't played with all the colors inside, but I, I did pick up the Ace Butte. Is it? Is that how you say it? Uh, it was the Tropical Vibes. I'm like kind of late. I bought it and then completely forgot about it, but I really like the Tropical Vibes palette. That's beautiful. Um... What else? I got the, I like the Blend Bunny blends, but I've really been enjoying revisiting my singles. So I have my big like Lily Posh um, magnetic palette here where a bunch of my singles are. And it's sad because some of them got really damaged during the move um, from New York here to Florida. But I have tons of favorites. Terra Moons. I have, what's this here? Clarity. Um, I think it's Emmy Cosmetics, beautiful, uh, made her makeup labs. She's fantastic. We did lots of work together in the past when I first started out. Um, well, of course, Lily Posh. Did I say that already? Cause she's my bitch. Um, what else do I have here? I think that's most of it. And then some that I made in the past myself which I've kept in here for sentimental values. So, but you'll see, I have, I have, I can't even show you, but like this one got damaged during, during the move. 
Uh, and I think that's it inside of here. I think that's all the brands that are inside of here, actually. Lily Posh, Terra Moons, um, Emmy Cosmetics, Clarity, and Made Her Makeup Labs. So I think that's it. My mom knocked my nose piercing as soon as she saw. <laughs> she might, my, my, let me just say, I put my parents through hell. I was not a very good teenager. I was a very bad teenager. I was always very respectful, but I was very self destructive. And I'll leave it at that. But, you know, both of my parents earned big kudos for dealing with my bullshit. And I'll, I'll leave you with that there. I'm new to your brand and just got low light. Yay! Do I have one here? Low light is here. Hold on. I have low light right here. And she is beautiful. Um, I'll swatch it. Got low light right there. It's like a purple with a blue flipped um, synth wave, which is a beautiful, like rosy gold kind of. It looks silvery for some reason on camera, but it is like more rosy. And then Comet, which is definitely, it's like a gold with a pink shift. Let me see if I put this on. And then we have Extraterrestrial, which is our green. Oh, I'm running out of, let me do it here. Okay, then we have Meteoroid. And laser beam, which is like the bluish teal color at the bottom. These two shades are more suitable for for deep, deep skin tones. This could be used on all skin tones because they have a translucent base. But you'll, you could definitely see that this, this is like a duochrome highlight. Oh, my fingers are like wiping all over me. Low light artwork is one of my favorites in the whole collection. Miss Upacy is the artist for this, so definitely check her out. My dad hates tattoos at 19. I got my first and he did it. You know what? My dad has tattoos. Actually, my dad's fully sleeved up. Um, so my mom even has some, but she's not the biggest fan. Every single time I tell her I got a tattoo, I kind of get the silent treatment for a while. She keeps her mouth shut, but she definitely gives me the silent treatment. My dad hates tattoos. Um, I'm so sad. I'm oh, the Heather palette. I have that one and I love it. I did a look on TikTok, I think, using it. And I do really enjoy that one. And I just have to say that Adept has always been very kind to me and helpful. And knowledge. she provides knowledge to me. So she's been fantastic. Do you learn, did you learn any lessons from your previous full-time job that you use when you, for the, for the brand? I definitely feel like I have. Um, I have not always been this patient. In fact, I quite, I take things quite personally when I know it's not personal. My job is customer service. Um, so putting, separating the two and compartmentalizing that has been something that that job has definitely taught me to, to do. Um, push myself in terms of my social anxiety, um, how to do a greeting. There are some things that I could do better. I'm not going to lie. I'm not the most, like I said, I'm not the most personable, bubbly person, but I do my best to just make sure that I solve your issue. Um, I learned, I learned a lot. I did learn a lot in terms of the customer service side of things and, um, the capabilities of what I could do and what type of programs I should be looking for in order to operate my business successfully. Um, thank you. You know what? The, uh, many of the artists that we chose to work with in the beginning, also uh, Serendipity is the one who did Strawberry Milkshake and Poison Apples. She's fantastic. She's the first artist. Um, not the first first, but she's the first 
one from when our brand kicked off. Um, the first artist we ever worked with did Pluto. Um, and she did the little character for it. And I can't remember the name off of the top of my head. Forgive me. Um, but she was fantastic and did that little character. Um, most of the artists that we did the palettes with, I was actually subscribed to their Patreon. So if you want to support any of those artists, please do go check out their Patreon. Um, you could get prints for like $10 a month with a sticker every month. And it's small things like that that help support these artists. You know, as you guys heard, I want it to be an artist. I have a deep passion. My husband's an artist. Um, so with the brand, we really want it to help, you know, keep artists going. Um, a lot of the times they're not able to continue doing what they love because they don't have the money for it. So it's really exciting to do these projects with people to help them and, you know, just support them. Thank you. You just got your mount palette. I just got the um, Gemini 2. I like it. I like it. I wish there was a little bit more of a metallic finish to their shimmers, but they're my, my favorite um, brand that's in like, so like an indie that's kind of gone more mainstream. They are my favorite. Oh, meter closed. That's so sad. She is. She did incredible work. Hi. P.S. I love the old packaging from the lashes and the color lashes. I wanted to try out. Um, the square box, the character. I think that's the artist is Isabi. Isabi. Um, if you go back to our original post, we always tag the artists inside of it. Uh, I haven't swatched the the shim the palettes, the sleepover palette. I'm sorry. I think I'm starting to become delirious. But if you want me to, I can. We're here anyway. Um, I could go ahead and swatch sleepover for you. For some reason, this is really washing out. Mine is fugly, but. I have like another color mix into here, but I could do that for you. Let's go into flirty, which is like this beautiful medium tone pink. I actually want to do a video on this palette and the neutral looks that you could do with it. It's not, you don't only have to do something pink. This is the shade cuddles. which is like a very warm brown, almost brick red. We have satin. The whole palette was inspired by this color, actually. It is a pink gold. It almost has like a silver tone to it too, but in person, it's definitely more of a pink gold. And we have the shade Stay In, which I love for creating smoky looks. This is Stay In. Then we have Laughter, which is like a white gold tone. This is Laughter. It's definitely more yellow base than um, Satin. We have Sweetheart. Hold on, I'm trying to like get it on the side of my hand. So this is Sweetheart. It's like a sugar plum type of shit. It's like a plum fuchsia. And then we have Beloved at the top, which is like your, it's like a cotton candy pink type of color. For some reason, it's making it look very lilac, lavender on camera, but it's not. Then we have Sleepover, which is like a matte gray, purple, brown type of color that has a sparkles inside, like pink sparkles inside. And I'm not sure if that's capturing on camera, but it is so unique and beautiful. I love that shade. And then we have Bouquet, 
which I'm going to put at the top here. Uh, where can I put this one? Put it here. And it's almost like a coral pink with a gold sheen to it. Let's see. If I... I'm not sure if you could see that there. That is sleepover. Okay, let me see what I what do I have here? What did I miss? The artist collabs in your line are so special. I'm very particular in, in, in regards to art, but I've loved working with every single artist that we've ever worked with. So happy to have this palette. I love your deep purple look that you did. You're in love with the size of the pants. Thank you for telling me that because I love larger pants and some people have been saying they prefer something that's smaller and more compact. Yeah, the pink gold one would be a beautiful highlight. How many new palettes do you have left to release this year? I cannot tell you that, but we have a lot of stuff coming. A lot. I'm verging on like ColourPop status at this point. So this is sleepover. I hope that was helpful for you. This makeup wipe thing is like no longer helpful at this point because it's just spreading rainbow colors everywhere. And that's it. Um, lots of cool, exciting things. Larger pan lovers. See? Larger pan lovers. High five, guys. I'm glad I'm not the only one. If I'm spending my money on something, I want it to be massive. <laughs> Larger pans look better when there's less than 20 shades. I under like. I feel like you could definitely feel that and see that. Like I love Don't Be Jelly. But because of how expensive it is to manufacture with those pigments, I couldn't make large pans for it. If I did, the markup would be insane. But, like, do you see the difference between something smaller, right? And then, oh, I don't know. You know? You just, I don't know. Are you ever thinking about doing pens? Colorful pencils or multi-chrome pencils like Sugar Drizzle. No, I don't have the intention of doing anything like that because I don't feel like with a pencil you could really see the impact of the multi-chrome. I feel like you could definitely get much more of that effect with um, our molten chrome gels. <laughs> you get to enjoy the bigger artwork. Yes, that's so true. Uh, we've thought about doing colorful eyeliners, but I like the gel pots. It's more artist friendly too. So I might expand the range for our gel eyeliners if you're interested. If you haven't tried them already, they are incredible. They're incredible. So definitely pick up one. Um, I want to do an eye look with the shade C all over and show you how I could you could achieve like a quick halo eye with something like that. Yeah, I'm definitely not stingy. That's for sure. When it comes to the product size, I try not to be stingy in any way. I like that it feels substantial when you're holding it. I don't know. I feel like it's just preference. It just is preference. If you're a collector, I could understand the appeal of having something with smaller pans because you're really just collecting it. There's like no way in hell you're actually hitting pan on something. But um, I just really like the look. I really like the look of having the bigger palettes. And um, Fall Magic is also one of the smaller ones that we have too. Like this is going to be jelly. But then I could show you like um, Hauntingly Glamorous in the back for size reference. Yeah. 
and then this is all magic here, which is def definitely much more of a softer, a softer color story. Um, you like the Cupid lip gloss? I want, I, I like, I did the lip glosses in the collection to like dip my toe in and show you guys that we have, a, like we worked on that gloss formula. Um, so if you guys really like the lip gloss formula, I really want to do a lip gloss collection, but I need to know if somebody's actually going to buy it because the volume that I have to do of this shit is unreal. So <laughs> please let me know. Could you please watch Angela and Diana? Yeah, I sure can. Hold on, let me take out my thing that has my... I got this organizer from Amazon that holds them. I have like no space on my desk. Bear with me here. You want... I should store mine upside down, but I like seeing the little snow globes. So we have Angela and... Where's Diana? Okay. And Diana. What I see, what I guess. Little pans are so depressing. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so we have Angela here. Um, let me put. I'm gonna put it here so I can see what I'm doing first. Okay, that's one swipe. And Diana is much more of a cooler nude lavender undertone. And so this is Angela and this is Diana. Which you could actually mix them and it would be really nice. Let me see if I can. A lot of people love Diana. I have to have like a, 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 like a cool tone, brown smoky eye in order to put Diana on. Oh, the holiday glosses. I have some of them here. Beautiful. And the dark gloss, one of my favorites. And then this is the Cupid one here. I think this is my lab sample. But this is this is the Cupid gloss. And I, I they're so sparkly. Like, And they're not like, they have tack to them, but they're not like uncomfortable, like stringy lip glosses and then we have spice i'll show you spice lip gloss from the holiday spirit collection that's spice it does not have any sparkle in it and then we have candy cane here this one doesn't have any sparkle either but it is, gives you that beautiful like popsicle lips kind of look this would be beautiful for summer actually Is there anything else you want me to swatch? Whatever I have here is what I can. I ordered the holiday bundle just to try the glosses. Listen, it's on sale, so definitely. I think you're really gonna like the glosses. You wanna get Fall Magic next. Fall Magic is special. The shimmers inside of Fall Magic, like, are you joking? Let me put this. Like, are you, this is, that was changed. This is autumn. This is leaves. It does shift like a bluish kind of purple. And then magic over here. So special. So we have change, which looks lavender in real life. Then we have autumn, leaves, and magic. Let me redo magic because I did it with my itsy bitsy pinky. Oh, you're not seeing the shift because this other light. But... And these are actually shipping out um, after this batch. We're done packing that. Um, Fall Magic pre-orders go out on. We'll start packing them on Friday. 
I love fall magic. Okay, should I just swatch all the colors for satin liquid lipstick? I don't think I have Eva here because honestly, that's my mother-in-law's color and that's my favorite color um, for a nude. Is it here? Yeah, I don't have it here. It's the only one that I don't have here. It's my favorite. Um, okay, so we're going to go in with Jeanette. I can't see from that angle. And this is Jeanette. It is like a spicy brown tone, almost orange, rusty kind of color. Then we have Samantha. What makeup product you um you probably won't do? I don't know, probably eyebrows or something like that. Um, so this one is Samantha. It's hard for me to see at this angle, but that is Samantha. It's a beautiful raspberry, like red tone. I love this color. Put this one there. Then we have Kleena, which I'm wearing on my lips right now, but I'll swatch it anyway. It is not as orangey as Jeanette. Okay, then we have Minerva. Let me just do it on this angle, which is like a, I feel like it is a true red, maybe with a hint, just a hint of an orange undertone. Um, we have ginger, which is like a, a bright coral orange. I feel like this looks really good on, on like more tan skin tone with a dark lip liner for summer. Oh, so good. That's ginger. Yes, Debbie did lip swatches on her channel, so go check that out too. Okay, now I'm doing Angela, even though I already did it. So that's Angela there. Then we have Linda. Um, let me put Linda over here underneath Angela. These two colors together are beautiful. This is Linda. It's pulling way more purple. I feel like the can like it can't handle this color or something like that. The camera. <laughs> Can you see it? Okay, then we have Diana, which I already did, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm going to put it on the side next to Angela. You can see it's like a cool nude, almost gray, like a gray, it's not, it's not gray, but it's very cool tone. Okay, then we have the shade Jasmine. This one is like a yellow nude. This, these shades in particular are made for mixing. So they completely transform the other nude tones. If you put this with a dark lip liner, it is so beautiful. And I think it's so underrated, this color. Um, then we have Mandy, which is my color. And is the poopy greens. That's Mandy. And Gladys is the tangerine orange. I love this color, one of my favorites. I think mine's running out actually, but this is Gladys. And then I'm missing Eva, so maybe I'll pull one. I'll pull one for you, so you can see it. Okay, 
the packaging. And this is Eva. This is my favorite for like an everyday nude. Where can I put it? I'll put it next to Mandy. So that's it right there. I actually love to pair it with um, Kalina, which is like mother and daughter. It's so funny. You get like this really, you could tone down. These are great to mix together. Like you saw how long I had it on there. You still have playtime with it. And it's long wearing, but it's not like a mat. It's not long wearing like our matte formula that we have. Look at that. This is Kalina and Eva. The mother-daughter pairing right there. So, and I'm not sad about opening another one because I know that I'm going to finish that one. <laughs> so these are the colors here. We have Jeanette, Samantha. What's this one here? Kalina. Minerva, Ginger, Angela, Diana, Gladys, Jasmine, Mandy, Eva, and Linda. I hope that was helpful. Okay, let me put all my colors back now. Somebody said something. I'm going to read the questions now. Forgive me. I can't. I'm not great at multitasking like that. How different is the formula from the new glosses compared to the old glosses? The new glosses are so much more shiny, hydrating, less. I, I feel like it's not. At, I mean, the other ones are tacky, too, but it doesn't have as much of an impact. So the new formula is definitely more glossy and sparkly or just more glossy. It's not tacky. It's beautiful. Eva is Nikki Raven's favorite too. I'm telling you, it is such a good color and I think it's underrated. You see how nice that is? And if you put this with like a dark lip liner, like I love, one of my favorite lip liners is NYX Brooklyn Thorn. If you put it with that, gorgeous. NYX Nude Truffle, gorgeous. Some of the best pairings. And now I have to try to clean this shit off of my hand. And I'm running low. On my makeup remover. I feel like I've showed you like our whole damn collection at this point. Maybe I should put a little bit of gloss. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. Thanks for. I feel like this is so much. E I feel like this is so much easier than getting like customer service emails. I can just talk to you guys and answer and help you with any questions you have in regards to product. This is Cupid Lip Gloss. Also, the shade Samantha does stain your lips a little bit. FYI. See that? So just a warning. It was fun. I think it's time to end this now. I have to use the potty. But if you have any other questions or anything else that you want to see, I think you could still leave comments down in this video after it's done. So please go ahead and do that. I appreciate you. Thank you, guys so much. I don't think you understand how much I appreciate you. And I am really shitty at expressing how I feel to people. Um, and I'm doing my best to change that. But I love you guys. And none of this would be possible without you. I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would be able to provide for my children the way that I've been able to provide for them because of you. And it really means the world to me. So thank you. 
thank you so much for supporting me, for being patient with me, for driving my creativity, for not giving up on me, and for keeping us going. Um, you guys are the shit. So I hope you have a great night. Thank you for staying up late with me on a weekday. And you're, you guys are really awesome. So um, I'll leave it at that. And have a good night, guys. Peace out. <laughs>